Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back, Red Olu Crew, and welcome to the page. Anybody that's never been here, this is Rush ABQ. So go ahead and put some emphasis on that cue because you know what we do. We make the videos that you want and the trucks that you need, and there ain't nothing different from this bad boy but another beautiful truck that I want to present to you guys. You got Viper Red tanks, Viper Red death covers, Viper Red frame rails with a Viper Red cabinet. Everything Viper, minus the fact that it's a Peterbilt, but I want to take the time to introduce to you guys a beautiful truck that I like to call the Flash. So this is ABQ Custom number four. If you're new to the page, if you've been on the page, welcome back. We number everything and it keeps on going up as these beautiful trucks keep on presenting themselves. So let's go ahead and get into the spec. That's gonna be a 565 X15 performance Cummins with a 2050 torque transmission and engine 18 speed transmission low low air leaf on the back air ride fronts on the fronts with a five inch drop also pretty much a car hauler suspension tall 24s fills in that front fender makes it look beautiful as always i'm not talking bad about small tires but big tires i'm from texas even though i live in albuquerque we believe everything's better if it's bigger and if you're from texas you'll definitely agree with me on that so as you can see we painted the def cover Something we haven't done before, but we figured, hey, this is an all-red truck. We're going to keep some things chrome, but we might as well give it a shot. And I'm extremely impressed with the work that my painter or our painter did and the body shop, of course. Um, and I, I, we talk about this, but we never mention it. Our body shop does all this. Um, if you guys need anything, anything of the sort, come on, give us a call. Rush Albuquerque. We got the stuff you need. But tall 24 Ecopia closed shoulders give you the best fuel economy you can get on a setup like this. 48 inch slide set back at 10 and six loading flush rear lights, clear lenses. All of our custom trucks come with a bunk heater. Uh, if you're from cold countries and you want one of our trucks, we Arctic wrap the fuel lines and we do bunk heaters just to make sure that you guys don't freeze out of it. For my regulars, you know what I'm about to say. People still mud flaps, people still mud flaps. So we go ahead and put the... Um, stainless steel premium mud flap hangers but they ain't got the tools they're not getting it all tall 24s Ooh, and that's not just a tire that's a rim that's 24 inch rims for those who like cars um, got the step on the frame got the tank pushed as far forward as possible now this right here is a small detail we get the tanks polished we have to pay a little bit ever to get the polish taken off but you get a polished def i mean a polished fuel tank no reason to have all this chrome if you ain't gonna have a polished tank it just doesn't make any sense water stains everywhere it just like i said doesn't make any sense uh we got breather lights on the back and rear you know proper lighting for dot big premium air cleaners and extra loading lights on the roof and we got extra bar clearances lights which we'll show a little bit later 60 inch stand up stacks with a seven inch diameter miter cut i mean it's a clean look i like the bent elbow but that 45 degree cut is just beautiful um it just makes the truck look sleek but i mean this thing's almost like a fire truck but it's just so fast of a truck with that rear ratio of 325 giving you a 1400 rpm at 75 miles per hour that there's no other name to name it other than the flash so with red i believe it's only custom to go with the beige interior um almost like a like a strawberry and peanut butter and sandwich you know the jam and then you got the peanut butter on the inside uh platinum interior throughout navigation screens cross lockers uh the work spare switches everything that you really could ever ask for out of a truck we got it we put it in here i could say we kind of know what we're doing <laughs> and, uh we got the big gulp um you know cup holder fold back arms makes it easier for big guys to get through platinum interior in the sleeper also you got two cabinet doors now um excuse me i gotta try to fit back here and it's it's not the easiest thing to do when you're all tied up with multiple things in your hands but we got back here we made it so business center in here just making it sure like i say in some of my videos it is kind of have to be a little ocd to keep this small compartment clean so the business center makes it easier you got your control module center which also has wood grain uh, panelage over it uh, i mean it you kind of need to have it to give it the finish we still got those other customs i got a couple people biting on it um but they're still here if anybody else is meant looking for them so you do see those in the video also 
Uh, with the um, platinum interior, you also get a single subwoofer. If we had a big cabin, we can get two subwoofers, but since it is a flat top, you're pretty much stuck at one. Now, I want to show you guys something that we did a little bit different, um, which involves the train horns. So give me a second to pull around on both sides to get this thing unlatched. Sorry guys, I'm a little unprepared. I probably should have done this before the video, but you know, hey, I guess I'm not that prepared. Hey, so these trucks, they're breathtaking. I mean, it looks good in video, but I mean, it really looks great in person. Um, now here are where the train horns is at. We actually, I'll give a shout out to my guys out in El Paso. We liked where they put theirs, so we went ahead and did a little um, copycat move. But dual leveling valves on the front axle gives you that true Cadillac feel. Um, those who don't really understand the big whoop of 3D9s, especially flat tops, is they're really low to the ground. They're really settled. So the wind doesn't push you everywhere. That's where you get that Cadillac feel, the whole being able to push it and drive it with one finger because the wind isn't blowing you over and that's just bob telling i mean if we really got into it being loaded i don't have the cdl for that so i don't know but if it drives this smooth empty imagine what it would do loaded but hey guys i know it was a quick one i'm sad to see y'all go but thank you for tuning back in to rush abq put some emphasis on that q guys and thank you so much for tuning back in you guys have a lovely day and come check us out